Hello and welcome to CN Data Structures Training. In this session, we are going to learn about input and output in C. So, in this session, we will be uh, learning about uh, how to do uh, input, like how to take input from user and how to print the output to the user so that this will help you in uh, writing a program and from the session after this we will be using these concepts to uh, take the input from user and print the output to the screen and uh, do some uh, more complex operation so let's begin uh, so in this session we will be covering basics in of input and output in c we'll be touching on how uh, we can get, we can print formatted output in c we'll be using printf for doing that and we'll be using uh, scanf uh, scanf is used for getting input from user so let's continue so input and output in c uh, c has no built-in statements for input and output so there is no default statement that you can use to do input and output a library function is supplied to perform these operations the IO functions are listed in header file stdio.h so if we want to do some input output operations uh, we need to include this header file in our program so this header file has all the functions which is related to input and output and uh, whatever functions uh, that we want to use for input and output uh, we can use it uh, by including this header file uh, you need not have to memorize uh, these things because it is uh, once you start using it it will be uh, very easy to understand and easy to use so just keep on practicing and uh, then you need not have to do any memorization of this so let's see what is printf uh, printf is uh, used for uh, outputting uh, in the screen in a formatted manner so this function provides a formatted output to the screen uh, the syntax is uh, this you need to write a printf which format you want what type of format and variables that we have specified here generally we specified it with the percentage sign percentage d percentage i percentage f and all and so on the format includes a list of data types of variables to be outputted and optionally some text and control characters so basically uh, for example if we have a, a float and an integer so uh, if you want to have a printf you, then you can then we can have something like some text you entered uh, and then the percentage like this is a format and this is a text and this is a format so what how so whatever pers uh, formats we have given we need to provide that number of uh, variables uh, or we need to match these things for example first we have given a floating point so we need to provide a floating point at, uh, in first position second position is an integer so you, we need to provide an integer over here uh, but just to understand how scan or printf works it just uh, takes the input uh, uh, or it works based on what is the format we have set between these codes and based on the format it will act so the order of format is uh, very important uh, in the for example uh, we have mentioned percentage s f is used for float percentage d is used for integer so if uh, we give a wrong uh, sequence here for example if we give b first and a second so it will give us a compilation error uh, so just a line of caution uh, order of uh, formats matter and we should follow this uh, same with the scanf in scanf uh, accepts uh, input from the user so whatever order of format we have given in scanf 
we need to match it with the type of variable so formatted output with a printf so d displays a decimal or an integer l is used to uh, specify long uh, so long is an another type of variable uh, data type uh, we, will, we will be covering this uh, in the next session in data types e is uh, e for floating point in exponential format f is floating point value g displays the number either in e or f format c displays a character s displays a string just try to uh, understand that these are the formatters that we used and uh, you will get understanding on these formatters by doing more and more practice so it is uh, just an introduction so how scanf works so scanf uh, is a function that provides for formatted input from keyboard so syntax of scanf is much similar to printf where we need to specify the format and a variable with ampersand uh, sign so ampersand is uh, mandatory if you don't give ampersand then we will not be getting a proper uh, result or we will be getting a compilation error uh, just for time being use uh, ampersand whenever you are using scanf so formatter is a listing of data types of variable to be inputted ampersand in front of each variable tells the system where to store the value that is input so ampersand is used uh, will give the address where do we want to store the data so this is the example float a and b so if you want to use scan f percentage d percentage f so it will be given as scan f first we need to give float the second we need to give int so the order matters if we reverse the order we will be getting a wrong uh, we will be getting compilation error so let's do some uh, examples uh, for this uh, example of io c so let's include stdio.h main so let's have an integer integer i let's uh, print f enter so if you want to print in a next line uh, like if we want to have a line separator it we use slash n the value of i scan f percentage d m percent i then we do print again slash n will be printing in the next line value enter for i is percentage d i okay so what we are doing here is uh, we are declaring one integer we are uh, asking user to enter the value for i we are taking the input and then printing reprinting that you have entered th uh, this value for i and we are returning zero so why we are returning zero is uh, since we are having return type of main function as int so we return zero this is a, a standard uh, practice where uh, we return some value of main function so generally uh, if main function is successful we return zero if there is any error in main function like uh, we perform some operation but operation is not succeeded 
then we return with one or two or some error code something which is uh, based on our logic so uh, everywhere in our program or everywhere in this session wherever i'm uh, writing the code i'll be returning zero so you can return whatever value you want uh, let me give one more printf at before we end the program because we will be getting clear output ok so let's compile the program let's run the program enter the value of i this time i give 6 so value entered for i is 6 and then we end so this is how we use uh, io in uh, c a very basic io printer and scanner i'm sure you enjoyed learning from this video please like the video and if you have any doubts regarding this video please comment us in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos. Do look out for other related videos in our playlist. For more information, visit our website now. Keep learning with IntelliPad.